Welcome, welcome. Greetings, greetings. Nice to have you all join me on our little adventure through some revision. Now, today we start section C, S E C T I O N, section C of the syllabus, and this is waves and optics, O P T I C S. Now, this section begins with a definition for a wave, and a wave is defined as a means of transferring energy. G without transferring matter. All right, good. This is the definition for a wave. Now, waves are of two types. Waves are either uh, transverse, T R A N S V E R S E. Or waves are longitudinal. L O N G I T U D I N A L, longitudinal. Now, a transverse wave is your sine wave, cosine wave. It, it looks like that. That's what I'm saying. It's this up and down motion while still moving forward. Good. This is your transverse wave. Your longitudinal wave is different. Your longitudinal wave looks like a series of parallel vertical bars, for want of a better term. This is your longitudinal wave. Dum -da -dum -dum -dum. Examples of transverse waves are uh, all electromagnetic waves, all EM waves. Every one is a transverse wave. Longitudinal waves are like sound, and um, you could say some waves, some waves on uh, springs, S P R I N G S. Yeah, some waves on springs. So. This is our introduction to um, transverse waves. Oh, wrong direction. My bad. Well, introduction to waves, rather. Now, you need to know the definitions for a few terms like um, pulse, wavelength, amplitude, um, progressive wave, and so on. I'm not going to go through those. You can find those definitions quite easily, just with the help of good old Google. What I want to look at is the first formula in the syllabus, and it comes under the topic wave parameters, M-E-T-E-R-S. Now, every single wave is defined by, well, obeys this equation. That's a better way to put it. Every single wave obeys this equation. V is the velocity of the wave. The velocity of the wave, of course, and this is in meters per second. F is the frequency, F-R-E-Q-U-E-N-C-Y, of the wave, and this is measured in a unit called the hertz. H-E-R-T-Z, not H-U-R-T-S. And the symbol is the H-Z. This is the wavelength. L-E-N-G-T-H, wavelength of the wave, and this is measured in, in meters. Now, um... What was I going to say? Ah, yes. The frequency of a wave is the number of complete oscillations or cycles or wavelengths per second, right? And frequency, therefore, has another formula, 1 upon t, where um, t is the period of the wave, period. This is defined as time taken for one complete wavelength or oscillation or cycle. Of course, the period is measured in seconds. Have I missed anything? Yes, I missed a little explanation. Now, the explanation is simply for velocity. Waves don't accelerate per se, okay? 
I'm sure when you did straight line motion, you came across problems that said a car starts from rest and accelerates. Waves don't do that. If they're moving, if they normally move at 600 meters per second in air, the instant they start moving, they will move at 600 meters per second in air. Do remember this. Now, moving swiftly along, waves with parameters transverse longitude now we come to um sound i believe sound s o u n d sound now sound is a longitudinal wave And it travels at approximately 340 meters per second in the air. Now, the temperature of the air and the um, pressure of the air will affect the velocity or the speed of sound. Just note that. Because the um, density of air molecules is affected by, the, uh, by temperature and pressure, sound will travel faster at sea level on a cold day than it would at high altitudes on a warm or hot day. Now, every wave, all waves, every last wave, yes, every single wave must do three things. Every wave must reflect, every wave must refract, Every wave must diffract, and every wave must interfere. F E R E G. The reflection of a wave is when a wave is incident on a surface, or when it hits a surface. Incident means hit in in this part of physics, or makes contact with rather. Reflection is. Um, of sound that is, is seen in, in, in echoes. You know, you stand a far away off from something, you stand a far away off, you clap, clap does not look like a clap. The sound travels towards or in the direction of the object and then it bounces off and comes back to you and you hear it. You clap once, you hear that clap. And then a couple seconds later, you hear the echo of your clap. This is proof that sound reflects. Now, refraction is the bending of a wave as it travels from one medium to another. Let me check something. Dun, dun, dun. have to make sure yep sound refracts but it's hard to see well I shouldn't say see I should say observe because we don't see sound now sound tends to refract due to the difference in the temperature of a few layers of, of layers of air if one layer of air is at a different temperature from another it forms a boundary at which sound will refract the sound will bend then at this boundary due to the difference in the temperature of the air. Diffraction of sound. Diffraction of sound is just a, well, diffraction rather, is the spreading of a wave as it passes through an opening or a gap. Okay? If 
you put your hands together and you kind of make like a cylinder and you shout into your hands, your hands form this narrow passageway. But sound is going to shoot out this side. And what happens is, the further sound travels from your cupped hands, the more sound will spread. Interference of sound. Now, interference is when, in him is when, Father, I just sinned. Interference occurs when similar waves come, well, interact. I shouldn't say combine. So you have a wave that looks like this. And it meets a wave that is similar to itself. That's really poorly done. It meets a wave that is, yeah, similar to itself. Forgive me, of course my diagrams are not going to be perfect. And when these two waves combine, you end up with a, a much larger wave. Well, not only can you end up with a much larger wave, you can end up with no wave, a much smaller wave smaller in terms of amplitude. Now in case you did not know what amplitude is, amplitude is this. How far the quote-unquote particles in a wave uh, move from their rest or equilibrium position. Think of it this way. If you have an amplitude of 1, and you add it a similar wave with amplitude of one, you will get an amplitude somewhere around two. This is called constructive interference. It, you can have the opposite. You can have an amplitude of around one, and you have an amplitude, it's combined with an amplitude of minus one, and you have a final amplitude of zero, and this is called destructive interference now a couple things for sound right oh I forgot. I forgot I definitely did forget something sound is said to be produced pro juiced and propagated which is a fancy word for transmitted pro I don't know if this is an A or a G. Hear me a G. Oh my goodness, I'm looking at it. Propagated. Hold on. When you write words, sometimes the spelling falls apart, at least with me. So I wrote the word and now I'm thinking, did I spell it correctly? Um, yes, I did. It just looks so wrong. Why? But anyways. Sound is produced and propagated by vibrations. By vibrations. That is why when like you live, you know, in Guyanese terms, or Caribbean terms, I guess you live near to a house, a wedding house. You just feel the the, the, the sound. Things in your house to shake, you just shake and all. But anyways, there are two words that you need to learn to define or know the defin definition of when it comes to, to sound. The first word is pitch, P-I-T-C-H. And pitch means frequency of sound, S-O-U-N-D. If you hear somebody say this is high pitched, it's high frequency sound. And the next word is amplitude, A-M-P-L-I-T-D-E. Amplitude implies loudness. So pitch and amplitude. Um, have I forgotten anything? I don't think I have. If I did, my apologies. As they say in, I think it's Italy, mia culpa. Hopefully I didn't butcher that. But anyways, moving on. We move on to light. But before we move on to light, let us take a, a break and stop at the EM spectrum. So first question you might have for me is 
what the heck does EM mean? EM stands for electro, and the M stands for, I was going to write a common M, magnetic. Electromagnetic waves have two components, an electric component and a magnetic component and they vibrate in planes that are perpendicular to each other, right? This is your x-axis and your y-axis. Let's say we threw in a third axis, just for fun, that went this way. Okay. So you have your up and down, your electromagnetic component, sorry, your electric component that goes up and down then you have your magnetic component that goes side to side. Hopefully my diagram helps you understand this. And this is what is meant by electromagnetic. A wave that has an electro electric component, or an ele did I say electric? Yes, electric or electric, I don't want to say electrical and a magnetic component, and they are perpendicular to each other. Now the spectrum, electromagnetic spectrum, is simply a collection and arrangement of all um, known transverse waves in order of increasing wavelength. And we have, yes, increasing wavelength. We have X and gamma rays at this end, we have radio waves at this end. Somewhere smack dab. Well, this is not drawn to scale, mind you, right? I am not drawing this to scale at all. Somewhere here we have visible light, V-I-S-I-B-L-E, visible light, L-I-G. H T. Here we have infrared, infrared, and here we have UV light. If memory serves, microwaves and my CRO, WAVES, are somewhere here. Now the visible spectrum of light has. Sorry. These are the colors of the visible spectrum. Violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. Red has the uh, longest wavelength, and violet has the shortest wavelength. And this is the electromagnetic spectrum. Now, as always, please feel free to um, comment. If you have questions on each video, feel free to ask in the section in the comment section below. Um, I will stop here because I want to. Um, I don't have enough time in this video to finish visible light. I will look at that in my next video. Anyways, as always, um, like, share, subscribe, and I hope you. Uh, tell your friends about me. Do enjoy. Be all right. Be safe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.